Hey everybody, it's Melissa. I'm gonna be giving you my honest opinion on Burberry Hero EDP. As always, I'll have a discount link for this in the comment section below with global shipping in case you wanna give it a try. That is an affiliate link, by the way, in case you wanna support the channel. But of course, buy where you're comfortable, all right? All thoughts and opinions are my own. All right, so this was actually supposed to be an unboxing video, but I ended up doing a video for TikTok instead first, which is why I already have this on skin. And I'm gonna tell you right now that I do like Burberry here. Let me tell you what it smells like. So to me, it's a very fresh, spicy scent with woodiness. Now the woodiness that I'm picking up is cedar, and I'm pretty sure there's more, like different types of cedar in this fragrance, but I can't really differentiate oh, this is like Virginia cedar, this is Indonesian cedar. You know, I'm not at that level, but it is a woody scent. But the superstar with this fragrance is the fresh spice. I really pick up that black pepper. It's very noticeable right off the gate, and it's still really noticeable on my skin right now. Now, there's also other supporting actors, right, in this fragrance like Juniper. I believe there's bergamot to also kind of freshen it up a little bit. But in my personal opinion, Burberry Hero, even though it's a woody, fresh, spicy scent, I find it just to be better worn in cooler weather in the nighttime. It is warm outside today, but it, I don't feel bad about wearing it because it's not overly sweet. You know, it's not like it, it has a touch of sweetness, don't get me wrong, but I think you could still get away with wearing this fragrance on like a 65, 70 degree weather day. You know, now for me, yeah, there's just something about it that is just effortlessly mass appealing, okay? There is nothing here in this DNA, this designer DNA, that I find to be really bad or really good. And that's, that is exactly what is gonna, you're gonna expect with designer fragrances, is it's just gonna be a safe bet. And this to me, it's, I just really like it, to be completely honest with you. Is this my favorite fragrance? It's not, but in terms of designer sense, I like this the same way I like Spice Bomb Extreme. And y'all know I used to talk about Spice Bomb Extreme a lot, and I still recommend that in my videos because I know that it's a high performer, it smells good, it has the compliment factor, and it's just a great scent to have all around in your collection, especially if you live in cold weather. And I think that Burberry Hero is similar in that regard. In terms of performance, I have noticed that this can push past six hours, but it is noticeably closer to the skin. Now, by no means does this fall off immediately. I think it just it does stick around, but it's not something like Spice Bomb Extreme that is going to have amazing sillage. If you don't know what sillage is, it's a scent trail. So when you walk by people, you know, when people just kind of follow your scent trail, their nose is like, ooh, what's that smell? That's what sillage is. Um, but Burberry Hero, I feel like, is better in close encounters. You know, if you're going to the club with maybe your significant other, you know what I'm saying? You guys are dancing a little bit too close or not too close. You're dancing close. Why'd I put the word two in there, you know? Or if you're, if there's somebody you're interested in and you want to dance with them, this is a nice fragrance to just kind of have in those moments because it is sexy. It's sexy and it's cozy, but here's the thing, all right? Because Whenever you have a spicy fragrance, there, there's always going to be a group of people that think the spices fall more in the B.O. category. That's just always going to happen with spicy scents. To me, this does not go in that direction. It does not smell like that in the air. It does not smell like that on my skin, according to my nose. But of course, everyone's different. different. So if you're somebody that is constantly picking up a B.O. scent, with spices, then this probably is not gonna be the fragrance for you. But for everybody else, I think that it's nice, y'all. In fact, the people that have asked me to review this the most have been my TikTok audience. Specifically, the queer women that follow me on that app, they're like, please talk about Burberry Hero. I tried it, I like it. This is more of a, um, kind of like a, uh, more of a masculine leaning fragrance but can still easily be pulled off by women the same way that Spice Bomb Extreme would and Citizen Jack Absolute. So if you like those type of scents and if you're a woman that kind of wants something a little bit more daring per se or outside the norms of your typical designer feminine fragrance, then I think that this was this is just like an easy scent to pull off. You know, this is definitely something that if a guy still were to smell this on a woman, because in fact, 
there is i know i said that queer women women have told me about this but there actually was also a straight girl that told me that she wore this and her boyfriend like loved it on her so again skin chemistry is a big thing too right but i just think that it's an easy fragrance to test those boundaries with in case you're someone that's kind of looking to expand and not kind of stick in the same box you know what i'm saying so burberry hero still smells good and if you like going to lounges or bars it also kind of has a bit of this i'm thinking grown smell right i'm i'm not talking mature but it doesn't smell like your childish teenager sort of youthful scent you know this kind of has a touch of like you know you're you're coming into yourself a little bit you you're coming into age that's what i that's what i mean like you're grow you're growing into yourself jesus christ i couldn't even i would whatever all right so you're growing into yourself and this is just a nice scent you know when you're in like your mid-20s even in your early 20s i think you graduate college and i think that this would really kind of fit for that group i think 20s and up would smell fantastic with burberry hero whether you're a woman whether you're a man doesn't really matter it's just the solid fragrance overall and in fact I remember hearing about the scent getting a lot of shit. People were like, oh, it's not that good, it sucks, or... But a lot of those opinions were coming from guys. But I have to tell you that the opinions that I have received, not from me wearing this, but from DMs with people saying, you, you have to try this fragrance because I smelled it on somebody, it's so sexy. All the women have loved Burberry Hero. They just really do enjoy it. And again, that's just the difference between the masculine nose and the feminine nose is that you know some things that guys might find very attractive when they wear it are not really attractive attractive to women and then when guys wear it they're just kind of like why am i only getting compliments from dudes you know so if you want something that's sexy to the feminine nose this has just proven that again i myself am going to try that to let you know like how my experience is with this because this is my first time giving this a full wear but i'm going to tell you right now i do love it it already just has that winning dna but i'm talking about the opinions of the multiple hundreds of women that have messaged me about this fragrance because this is probably one of the most popular designer scents that i have been asked to review within the past year because i believe this came out in 2021 and by the way the bottle kind of looks like pie by Givenchy, doesn't it like it kind of looks a little like it just a bit chunkier um like i th like i said like i said <laughs> The performance over six hours here more of an intimate scent but i think this is great i think this is a great date scent um a nice designer fragrance absolutely for sure it's been growing on me the more that it's been sitting on my skin and i don't have to put it close to my nose in order to smell it like even with me kind of just going around minding my business and i only did a couple sprays of this on my wrist my usual area that i hit when i'm testing fragrances i still smell it i went outside earlier the wind was blowing i smelled burberry hero yeah that's nice. So you know what? I'm actually going to try applying this on clothes and I'll let you know how it goes. All right. But again, I really feel like if you love Citizen Jack Absolute, if you love Spice Bomb Extreme, then you're probably going to like this fragrance. That, But if you're somebody going for the more minimalistic fragrance collection, you don't need to have all three. But I'm saying that if you enjoy those two fragrances that I, I already mentioned to you, I think that you would like Burberry Hero. But that's just me let me know what you think of this fragrance in the comment section it's just good man. it's just good in fact i'll make a video about these three fragrances that's what i'm gonna do yeah all right again discount link for this in the comment section below if you want to try a sample of it if you want to pick up a bottle of it so do with that what you will i hope you all have a great day let me know what you think of this scent and i'll see you in the next video take care bye